All right, tech enthusiasts, here we go. Let's fully explore, do the how-to, check the pricing, and all of that on the new Kaleidoscape Disk to Digital program. I have my Asus BW16D1XU. I'm gonna crack this open, I'm gonna hook it up, follow the instructions, we'll go through all the guide together, and I got a stack here of, I don't know, maybe 13 or so Blu-ray discs, all kinds of different age ranges of movies, different studios, and we'll see where the upgrade pricing relative to the current or actual store pricing falls. We'll blow it all out and, and see, see how good the program is now in its new and current incarnation. If you need some more background information on this, do check out my recent videos talking about the KOS 10.14 uh, upgrade and note that you won't be able to do any of this unless or until your Kaleidoscape system has upgraded to version 10.14. All right, a couple quick things to note. I'm gonna skip the whole unboxing of the Asus drive. There's no reason for that. Suffice to say, here it is. Kaleidoscape published four approved drives that they have tested and verified and all of that with this disk to digital this new disk to digital program. There's a Pioneer, an Asus, an OWC, and a Buffalo. I just opted for the Asus because when I looked, it was the cheapest one. All of them are larger enclosure, like five and a quarter, I think, sized uh, tray drives, no small drives, no slot load style drives. Other drives may work. However, keep in mind the Strato, you plug this into the Strato via USB and the Strato will not power your drive. Some drives come in smaller enclosures and they expect to be bus powered by the USB connection itself. That will not work with this. You must have an externally powered drive. The USB connection to the Strato is only for the data exchange to validate the disk. So you need an enclosure that has its own power source. This Asus here, of course, comes with a little power brick. And I'm gonna get this in the rack and get it all tied up nice and clean. All right, we have the drive in, ready to connect to the Strato. I think folks usually like seeing the, kind of some of the details and the, the setup and all of that. So I put the drive right here on the left side of my rack, kind of in, again, this like what I consider to be the utility area uh, of my rack. One of the downsides to devices, I really don't like power bricks. I wish they would integrate power supplies more often. So there's a little bit of a jumble, but I tied everything up as always as best I could. Velcro stuff down, keep it nice and tight, Velcro it to the shelf, keep it all um, safe and kind of secure back there. So we got the Asus sitting in the rack right next to the Kaleidoscape, that's great plugged into my power strip in the back and then I routed the USB cable off of the Asus kind of just straight through and underneath um, tied it up to some of the cables right behind the Strato there now you're not going to leave this connected you're not going to leave this drive connected to your Strato all the time you plug it in uh, when you want to do cataloging and then you would disconnect it uh, effectively otherwise Although I'm curious to see, we'll find out. I'm kind of vlogging this as I go. The Asus drive does actually have a power switch on it. I'm gonna turn it on. It's on the back. You slide that over, we got the blue light there, and then our eject button is on the right-hand side. Tray comes out, we'll throw our discs in. So I wonder technically if I can leave this always connected to the Strato and just have the drive off. If the drive switch is off, the Strato shouldn't recognize it. That would be nice because then I'm not going back there continually. I did connect the USB cable from the Asus drive to the to the USB port. There's only one on the back here of the Strato C. I powered on all my system and the Kaleidoscape is just at the menus. It's working normally. Note the drive is off. Now the Kaleidoscape instructions say that when you connect a drive and power it on, the Strato will go into what they call disk recognition mode. That's gonna be indicated by this front light blinking every three seconds. Let's turn this drive on, we'll see what happens. Reach behind there, flick it on. And there we go, light went off, blink, blink, and blink. Nice, perfect. We are in disk recognition mode. And also just to confirm, this did not change the presented UI of the Strato itself. The movie wall is up, I can use the remote and navigate around the movie wall, but in general, they don't recommend, or I wouldn't recommend, having all of this happening while you're actually trying to watch content. Again, disc recognition mode is different than normal use playback mode, even if it looks kind of the same on your screen. So let's put our first disc in and see what happens. What they say to do is open the tray, put the disc in, close the tray, 
the Strato will start cataloging the disk. The light will blink a little bit faster. They tell you to open up the history page, navigate to your system via the local IP address and keep an eye on the history page. And you should hopefully see something added there. We'll find that out specifically in a second. Once the cataloging is done, the Strato will automatically force an eject on the, the Blu-ray drive itself. And then we should see some things happen, the, the digital offer available and be able to redeem it. So the first disc I'm gonna put in here uh, is Bullet Train, relatively new movie. This is a Sony release. I think Sony in general, I believe, has pretty decent disc to digital offer type pricing. So we'll put that in. We will close it and we'll look for some faster blinking here of the light. I hear the drive crunching a little bit, spinning up. I'm not going to cut any time out of this. I want to show kind of the whole sequence. Wow, that was fast. All right, so we've cataloged. I hope if I look now at my history page, I see it uh, today, this morning here at the current time, the title bullet train source was that it says K Strato type Blu-ray disc and the status is cataloged. Nice. They specifically say that catalog discs will not appear in the Strato UI as of course the Strato players don't support any cut, any type of actual disc based playback in the Kaleidoscape system. It does say the movie will appear in your history and such as as it has here and just to be perfectly clear again playback of content off of this drive connected to the strato is not supported this whole process this connection is only for cataloging registering ownership or, or rights of a disc it is not for playback so they say information about newly cataloged discs will be synced to the kaleidoscape server and shortly thereafter disc to digital uh, offers will be available in your digital offers page. Now, I did not see an offer for Bullet Train appear immediately here, as again, I'm kind of doing this or recording in real time. The movie right now, I don't think it's on sale at all in the store. It's, it's listed at $24.99 for a full price purchase. So I may have to just go ahead in the, in the process of editing through this video, catalog the stack of discs that I have, and then wait a little bit to finish this until I see the digital offers come up. And just to follow up with a really quick confirmation, again, if you go to your Kaleidoscape via web browser on your local IP, it's the movies in the history list where you will see the newly cataloged stuff. In the history, of course, whatever you recently cataloged will be right at the top. And I'll show that in some overlays here. And then if you go to the movie list, you will see the movie in that list. That, that kind of represents your currently downloaded stuff. Even though technically this is not a downloaded movie, it's a cataloged movie. It shows up as like an active one in the movie list. That's kind of interesting. The key difference being that in the movie list, the types of your other movies, you'll see 4K HDR, you'll see Blu-ray quality. The type in that movie list uh, generally shows, again, like the quality level of the movie that you have downloaded to the system. In the case of this catalog disc for Bullet Train, it says Blu-ray disc. So I presume if you catalog a DVD, it will show DVD is there, DVD there as well. I don't actually have any DVDs that I'll be cataloging. Maybe I'll do that in a separate video just to also be able to check some price differentials because a DVD to 4K would be a two-step upgrade. Uh, may not be as much incentivized as doing a Blu-ray to a 4K. But in any case, I did look at the UI of my Strato after cataloging Bullet Train. Bullet Train is not there. It's not represented in the actual Strato UI in any way, which makes sense because again, it's not playable. And we have it within a matter of minutes. I, I know I'm kind of jumping in the video here as I'm recording snippets as I do this uh, cut in cutting them together, but there wasn't a significant amount of time here. Literally a few minutes later, I now see Bullet Train in my digital offers list. Sony Movie 4K, Blu-ray to 4K upgrade pricing here. What do we see? It's a $24.99 movie in the store. And based on cataloging, my digital offer redemption price for the 4K movie in the Kaleidoscape store, $20.09. We have slightly less than a $5 reduction here. Um, it is a brand new movie. I'll give it that. Um, in the past, I think Sony, I thought Sony was one of the better studios offering some pretty deep cuts, some pretty deep price cuts for doing this type of cataloging and disc to digital redemption. So we'll have to see. I'm ready now here. We're gonna run through the other dozen or so discs that I have. 
All right, sorry if, if there's a volume difference or an audio difference here. I had to change cameras. My Sony battery wasn't holding up there. So next movie here, House with a Clock in the Walls. This is Universal NBCU. Let's close the tray. We're looking for that faster blinking. I hear the, the drive reading. There we go, pretty quick. And if I look in the history online, I do see catalog, successfully cataloged. All right, we got some animation here, Mitchells versus the Machines. This came out on Netflix, but it's technically a Sony movie. Kaleidoscape did get the 4K, um, the 4K quality in the store some time ago. Fun movie. We watched it on Netflix uh, back when it was exclusive there. Wow, I, I really like how fast this is going. This is incredibly better than the same process on an Alto. I owned an Alto for a little while back when I first got into the Kaleidoscape system. That thing was a chore doing this. This is so fast. I'm really, really impressed with this, at least so far, based on the speed. And it shows cataloged, so three for three. All right, next up, Disney movie, A Wrinkle in Time, and cataloged, four for four. All right, this is one, actually, I really want to watch this, the Clint Eastwood Man With No Name trilogy. I've never watched it, but I'm curious, I'm really curious about this one. This is for a few dollars more. This hits a couple studios that may not do so well in this program, and I wonder, technically, if this disc won't, won't catalog. I think there's a chance this could be the first failure. Well, we read it quick. We, it shows catalog. It shows catalog. Nice. All right, next up, Black Adam, Warner Brothers release. I think one of those crazy Warner Brothers priced new movies in the store. I'm really curious to see how this one, uh, this one turns out. I am so impressed with this. Black Adam, catalog. All right, I'm curious about this one as well. I think this one may be one that it actually doesn't make it through the process. This is Pro Mare, uh, Japanese anime, animation, Shout Factory. So it's pretty consistent here. We hear the little crunch, a little bit of a read. Cataloged, wow. I'm pretty sure this movie in the store is $9.99. Uh, pretty well priced as it is already. It's not in the store in 4K. All right, Beautiful Day in the Neighborhood, TriStar Pictures, a Sony release. So fast, update, cataloged. All right, this one could be interesting. Anatomy of a Murder, 1959 film. It is in the store. It is in the Kaleidoscape store in 4K. This is actually the Criterion disc release. Kaleidoscape doesn't have Criterion content in the store. I think they got this because the digital rights and the Criterion uh, disc release rights may be different. Really interested to see if a Criterion disc catalogs against the store itself. We ejected. It did it. Cataloged. Showing cataloged in the history. Wow. All right. The original Robocop. Unrated director's cut disc. Super violent movie. I probably watched this movie way earlier than I had any right to. MGM. Another one of those. I'm really curious to see how it falls out in this program. Very quick to read. Cataloged. Scarface. NBC Universal. I think Universal is one of the other studios that I would expect to see some pretty significant discounts for based on what I've observed in the past. This is the Gold Edition disc release and cataloged. And one more Sony release here, Monster Hunter. Curious if we see a deeper discount perhaps than the one offered on Bullet Train. Wow, this is just cataloged. So 12 for 12, including some interesting discs, including a Criterion disc including a Shout Factory disc, some anime, some stuff that's in the store in 4K, some stuff that's in the store in HD. I'm gonna wait now for all of these to kind of to propagate into my digital offers. All right, back to the Sony camera. Just to show here, we've cataloged all 12 discs. We're still blinking, the drive is still on. We're still in that disc recognition mode. Three second blink on the Strato. I'm all done now here. I'm gonna turn the Asus drive off. with the switch on the back, instantly, instantly, we have a solid light on the front of the Kaleidoscape. We are out of disc recognition mode and back into normal standard use playback mode. So let's take a look at what kind of price reductions we see across these 12 discs. 
All right, so very quickly, all of these all of these movies showed up in the digital offers page of my store. Again, in order to redeem your digital offers, I think the easiest way to do it is to go to the Kaleidoscape store in a web browser. On the top, log into your account, of course, look at Manage. And under Manage, you'll find a digital offers page with all of the upgrades available to you. All 12 of these are in here, even though technically Promare isn't an upgrade. It is a digital offer, but it's not an upgrade. It's an HD movie in the store. All of the other 11 discs that I tried out here are 4K versions. So those are all HD to 4K upgrades in the store. So I'll put some overlays up as I go, kind of showing a, a snapshot. The one thing I really like that they, that this was a recent change, I think, is they've really tried to make pricing, say, clearer in all of the Kaleidoscape interfaces, meaning when you see a price, they show you actually kind of the stock price or the MSRP, I guess you could say, of the movie itself. And then they show you like your available price based on any available discounts like a digital offer, sales, bundles, uh, and all of that. And in some ways, I think some of these prices or discounting may actually stack a little bit. I'm not entirely sure all of the details on that. If, if you put something in a bundle or something is on sale, if it compounds with your digital offer reduction price, in some cases it might. I think maybe in many cases it won't. But they did make positive changes to basically make sure that whatever price you're presented with in the Kaleidoscape store, either on the web or in the app, is always going to be the best available one at the time. So you never have to worry, like, if something's on sale and I have an offer, you know, is it not kind of reflecting the best available price that the store is willing to offer me? Okay, 12 movies. Let's take a look at each of them. Anatomy of a Murder, Sony Pictures Studio Film, $14.99 store price for the 4K version of the film. Disc to digital offer, $4.92. That's perfect. That's pretty much the best case scenario that you can expect doing this process. $4.92 is like a staple price for like the deepest reduction. I don't think it's based on a percentage. It's just like a fixed number, kind of an oddball number. Why it's not like $4.99, I don't know. But you see a lot of $4.92 when you do this. And if you see $4.92, I think you're looking pretty good. I've said it uh, to Kaleidoscape and in the message boards, and I think I've seen other owners say the same things. We'll buy digital offers in 4K upgrades on every movie in our libraries all day long for under five bucks. It's basically a no-brainer. All right, for a few dollars more, MGM movie, $24.99 store price is available in 4K. Disc to digital offer, price reduction, $21.54. Only a couple dollars off. MGM, MGM, you're pretty stingy. Come on. Scarface, NBC Universal, $14.99, 4K movie available in the store, $4.92 digital offer price. NBCU is there with Sony as one of the studios that often conforms to this $4.92 price. Robocop, another MGM, 4K in the store, $24.99 current price, $21.54 digital offer reduced price. We're saving a few dollars here, but just like for a few dollars more, again, we're only saving a few bucks. MGM, come on, $4.92, please. And we have a wrinkle in time, Disney movie, $24.99, 4K store price, digital offer discounted price, $21.67. Couple pennies off what MGM is doing, but I will say historically, I think Disney is another one of those studios that in this program is a little more stingy as well. House with a Clock on the Walls, 4K in the store, $14.99 price. NBC Universal, $4.92 digital offer price. Beautiful Day in the Neighborhood, Sony Pictures. But a Sony Pictures movie at $14.99, digital offer price from the, the redemption here, $4.92. Again, Sony is one of those $4.92 companies, but this is a slightly older film. And keep in mind, the, the going price of the movie in the store is $14.99 going down to $4.92. There may be something there that we, with Sony, we see the $4.92 price when the movie is already older, a little cheaper, a little discounted. The newer stuff though, not necessarily maybe always going to $4.92. All right, Promare. This is the one I was, I was kind of really intrigued what would happen with this. $9.99 in the store, Shout Factory. This is an HD movie, not a 4K, with the digital offer reduced $8.17. Yeah, I mean, it's already 10 bucks. How much more are you going to really ask for? Monster Hunter, Sony Pictures, 2022 movie, 
Priced at $14.99 in the store, discounted with the digital offer, $4.92. Pretty consistent here again with Sony. Little older movie, $14.99, going down to $4.92 on the digital offer. Mitchell's versus the Machines, Sony Pictures, $19.99 in the store for 4K. Price reduced to $14.60. So we're not going to $4.92 here, but again, it's not a $14.99 movie. And then the last one, of course, as I mentioned earlier, Bullet Train, Sony Pictures movie, brand new film uh, from 2022, $24.99 in the store, digital offer price reduced to $20.09. Oh, and I skipped it in the list, actually. Sorry about that. Black Adam, Warner Brothers, $24.99, Kaleidoscape movie store price. This is a 2022 film as well. This would have started at $36.99, I think, with the usual Warner Brothers pricing, but they've already started to price reduce it a bit. Digital offer redemption price, $4.92. So Warner's one of those odd ducks, I think, where they price their stuff really high in the store to buy it. But if you do the digital redemptions, the digital offers, they're sometimes really good, actually, on their digital offer pricing, hitting, again, that $4.92 floor here for Black Adam. All right, so I think that's it for now. 12 movies, quite a few of them, actually, at that $4.92 floor. Every movie cataloged very, very quickly, and every movie at least had some level of a price reduction. I was a little Sony heavy in this movie list. I will try to do others, maybe hit some of the, the movie studios that I might have overlooked or didn't get to in this kind of collection of discs. I would say so far here, so good. This is really good. This is, this is pretty phenomenal, actually. I'm, I'm really kind of understating it, calling it pretty good. From Kaleidoscape, this is pretty phenomenal. To be able to take your own drive, connect it to their hardware, it's working. The cataloging, the reading, it's fast. It was flawless, 12 for 12. Consistent price reductions, some of them pretty deep. I'm very happy with this. If you are considering a Kaleidoscape system and you have a big physical media library, man, this, this might be your ticket to kind of making the jump and kind of coming over that, over that hurdle. And I think there's a couple different ways to do it, right? Just because maybe you have a physical media collection and you buy in a Kaleidoscape doesn't mean you have to wholesale redeem all your discs. Your discs will still work. You could redeem some favorites. You could go into Kaleidoscape and just buy the new stuff and not even do any disc to digital. But the fact that we have this available now is awesome. Sound off in the comments and let me know what you think. If you're doing some disc to digital redemptions and you see some surprises or some uh, confounding results with certain films, Post them in the comments. Let me know the movie. Let me know the price that you're seeing for the Disc to Digital Redemption. Hit some other movies and some other studios that I might not have gotten to, and let's talk about it. I'll be covering this more as time goes by as well. As always, please do all the regular YouTube stuff. Like, subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications. Share the video. Very much appreciated. If you'd like to support the channel, super thanks. Channel memberships. Amazon affiliate links. Buy your drives, please, from my Amazon affiliate links. I will have them linked again in the description of this video. And for Kaleidoscape, I have a referral code. I also have a really great dealer that can help you get set up with a Kaleidoscape at a Techthusiasm discount. But if you also use the referral code, which my dealer friend will make sure to do, I get a little store credit, and so do you. Win-win situation. Everybody wins. We're all happy together in the Kaleidoscape platform. Thanks so much for watching. Coming back for more home theater discussion, hands-on stuff like this, and fun.